We want to reward the players that are being the completionists and are exploring every corner of the game. Uh, and one of the ways that we can do that is by creating special challenges around all of that gameplay and then rewarding players to complete those challenges with points. We call this the Persistent Elite Creation System. It's something which will be familiar to people who've played some of our recent Rainbow Six titles. And the idea behind that is by earning these points, which I can do either in single player or in co-op, I'm able to go into special environments, either the locker room in our lobby uh, or some of the weapon stashes that we find throughout the game world. Um, any weapon that I've already unlocked through the normal progression of gameplay, I can then upgrade. That means I might be able to add a silencer, a laser, a scope, a special stock. I can also upgrade the efficiency and the effectiveness of my gadgets, whether you're talking about visualization tools or grenades. Other things include personalizing the appearance of my avatar. Uh, but at the same time, there's a gameplay component to that because I can add accessories. I can change the capacity for carrying ammunition or carrying gadgets. I can basically increase the amount of armor that I have on my person to make myself more resistant to damage. So so there's a gameplay component to it as well, and this is really a way of rewarding those players, whether they start in single player or they start in co-op, whether they're playing Deniable Ops mainly or they're playing the story mode, a way to kind of reward them for completing these challenges and really diving deep into that gameplay. We're always aware of the fact that, you know, people are playing in multiplayer experiences and co-op experiences, not just online. Uh, so we want to make sure that we're always supporting the ability for people to, you know, link together on Syslink, but also to play split screen at home. Players really love the dynamics of having to work together, to having to really collaborate. So it's not co-op in the sense of having two solo players who happen to be in the same map at the same time. It's really co-op in the sense of these two agents need to work together and they need to coordinate their actions. They need to communicate with each other in order to be able to get through this, either without being detected or, or even just to survive it. If Sam Fisher is the Panther, then these two guys, Archer and Kestrel, they're really two wolves in a pack.